Hey, this is Chris with Vid Society, and in this video, I'm gonna do a Studio review for you. Now, this is Joshua Zamora's latest product, and what I'm gonna do is go in here and, and actually create a video for you and show you how it all works, point out the pros and the cons, because many of you know that I've been a, a big-time user of Vidnami, Pictory, NVIDIA, Wave, and all these other places. I've used them, and so that's why I was really interested in this one, especially because it's based on a credits-based system. Up here, you can see where you can buy credits, and this is actually a good thing because with all the other ones you have to pay a monthly fee some of them pretty expensive but with this one you only pay as you use them or as you create the videos and so that makes it a little bit better especially if you're on more of a budget so let's go ahead and jump into this i'll put the link below this video as well as some other resources you might be interested in where you can pick up studio it is going to be discounted uh, the price goes up, I think, every day, and on the 12th, it jumps up to, I think, $97. So if you guys want this, pick it up now. That link's right below the video. All right, so here we are inside of the dashboard, and there's some tutorial videos that shows you how to get started. This is just where all your videos are that you create. These are your published videos, and depending on the upsells you have, there are, I think, three other upsells. They are optional. I'll go over those here in a minute and explain what those are. But really, this is super easy to use. So all you have to do is come up here and click on create a video. And if you have the upsell for the audio, you can use that. You can upload an audio file. It takes the audio, it pulls the transcript out of it and creates a video from it. It's really cool. But for this example, I'm just gonna do it from a script. So I'm gonna click on it. Now here you're gonna be able to choose a template uh, from landscape to vertical, horizontal, square. Uh, different depending on how you want to upload it for me I like to create videos for YouTube so I'm going to leave it on landscape and then down here you can choose your scene target seconds in other words how often it changes per scene five to six seconds is what you want to leave this at uh, any longer and usually it'll just stay on the picture too long in fact I'm just going to go ahead and change it to five whoops and I think I hit frequently asked questions let me jump back here now, after you do that, you have two options. One, you can type out your script here. You want it to read. You can paste in a script, or you can come down here and do an AI writer. So, for example, if I click this, it's going to come up to this area. It says this is a text area where you can input the topic of this article, such as global warming, article marketing, stop dog barking, uh, whatever you want. And then it's going to create an article based on that topic. So for this one, what I'm going to do, I got a channel based around crypto. So we're just going to type in crypto currency and then down here you can choose your language we're just going to leave it in English and you can choose a minimum number of words depending on how long you want the video to be for this example we'll just do say right around 250 and click generate and you want to see here each use of the AI writer will use one credit we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to go ahead and give it a minute here and then when it's done it's going to create the article and post it uh, in this section here, we're going to read it just to see the kind of quality it is. Okay, so it's finished. Let's read just a bit of it here. It says, when you think about cryptocurrency, you may think of Bitcoin. This is a type of digital currency that has become very popular in recent years. The main reason for its popularity is that it is decentralized and can be used by anyone anywhere in the world. In fact, there are over 1 million people who have joined the Bitcoin network to date. So this sounds really good. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And we're going to get down here and click on uh, use this script. And it brings us back here to where we can add our script in. Now, if you don't want to use the AI writer and use up a credit for this, you can do what I normally do, which is use Article Forge. And you can go to tryarticleforge.com and get a free trial of it. And basically, it creates articles for you. And that's how I do all of my content anymore, is I just have this create the articles for me. I copy it, and then I paste it into my scripts, my descriptions, my WordPress posts, whatever it is I'm trying to create content for. Now, once you're done with this, you click on Submit Script. And what it's going to do is each paragraph of that script, it's going to create a scene. And within that scene, it's going to break it down into different slides per sentence. And I'll show you exactly how that works here in just a second. All right, so here is the video. This is the dashboard that shows you where you're going to be editing everything. And down here, you're going to see this is the number of slides that was created based on the content. And if I go through here, you're going to see the background of the first four are the same. And because the first four covers the first paragraph, 
And what it did was within the first paragraph, it breaks it down into each sentence and creates a slide from it. So if we can, we can go through here and see that that was the first paragraph and then the new paragraph starts with a new background and then it jumps over. And what we can do is if we don't like the backgrounds, we can come over here and we can change it. So we can come over here. This one here is not too bad, but let's say I like this one better. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to replace all four slides in the entire scene of this paragraph. And we're going to get just a minute. It replaces it. Now we can also click on some other ones here like cryptocurrency and we can see what's available. And there are a few of them. Let's say I want this one instead. I can click on it. I can replace it for all four slides for the paragraph. And there's that. Now you can also change the text, the background color, the font color, and even the font. One of the things that I don't like, and I'm sure will be updated soon, is that when you update the font and the color and how this looks, it only does it for the current scene. So let me go ahead and go over here to styles and I'll show you what I mean. And let's say I want the text background to be black or close to it. And then the font will use this Montserrat. And then the text color will use white. And then we'll go ahead and click apply. And you can see now this is what the text looks like. And then I can adjust it also. This is the way Vidnami worked here, which is really neat. So we can do that or we can do like uh, the bottom center. And then it'll be like that on the first four of these. But then on, on the next one, it changes back to the regular. So for each one of the scenes, you will have to go in and change it if you want to update it. Now you can see on some of the text, it's like this. Uh, if it does like that, you can just, you can easily correct it. And you can come in here and change the text if you want to. Uh, add stuff, whatever you want to do. Up here, there's different options here. You can underline, italicize, and even highlight it with this one. And under styles, you do have an option for highlight color, which is right here. Let's say we change it to uh, yellow or orange. Then we can come up here and maybe say the main reason. Click highlighter, and you can see how it, whoops, I forgot to click apply there. And then you can see how that changes the color of it. And then we can move this on the bottom right, the bottom center, however you want it for each slide so it fits exactly the way you want it with each video that's showing within your scenes. So I'm not going to go ahead and change everything on this entire video right now, but let's say I do want to replace this background because a lot of it's the same. I can come back over here to cryptocurrency. Let's just say Bitcoin and then this this scene here is nine slides so it says here only show videos longer than scene duration I'm not going to do that because then it's not going to give me very many of them so I'm going to uncheck this and do a search and we can see all kinds of them now so let's just do this one here and I'll do it for this slide only there you got that and then we can go to the next one and we can change it if we want to can do cryptocurrency. I don't want it to do this option again. There's just too many of them. We'll give it a minute and then we'll come down here and we'll do this one. See, I'll do that for all six slides. Okay, and then you can go through there and do that with the rest of this. Adjust the text and however you like it. Now, when you're done with this, you can come up here and click on save and then click next step. And then we got the narration. So you got two options or three options for narration. One, you can have no narration at all and just background music. Two, you can have auto narration where you can choose one of these voices. There are a lot of them. And in fact, a lot of these voices, they sound much better than what the ones were with Vidnami and a lot of the other video tools that I've used. Or you can do your own narration. So if you click on this, what it's gonna do is break it down per sentence or per slide and you're going to record each one individually with your own voice and it's going to save it and sync it up to the text that you just read with that slide. So that's pretty cool if you want to do that. For me, I'm just going to click on auto narration. For my voice, I'm going to choose Ryan and then create narrations. All right, so it's done. And now what we can do is we can come up here to the music library and they don't have anything like a whole list for you just to choose from. So if you hover over it, you can hear it. But other than this one here, you have to search based on keywords. And I'm not crazy about that. I'd like to have a big list of them that I can scroll through or maybe different categories. But I'm hoping that's something that gets updated in the future. But for now, 
This is based around crypto. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna type in something like crime and do a search. Okay, and we got several different, um, actually we got quite a few of them here. Let me just hover over a few. Okay, I really like that one. Okay, I think I like this one the best. So I'm gonna click it and we're gonna give it a second. It's gonna apply it to the video and then we can come up over here to volume and we can adjust the volume with the narration or with the music. Now the music usually is a little bit too much for me so I'll turn it down to let's say 30. Click apply and leave it like that. Now you can also upload your own music right here so you can click on that and upload if you have your own. But let's go ahead and listen to this and see what it looks like. When you think about cryptocurrency, you may think of Bitcoin. This is a type of digital currency that has become very popular in recent years. The main reason for its popularity is that it is decentralized and can be used by anyone anywhere in the world. All right, I'm going to pause it right there and that gives you a really good idea of how you can create these videos and how you can create them really fast. Uh, once you're done though with all this, all you have to do is click on finished. And then you have some options here where you can download the video. Maybe you want to upload it to YouTube or another social media site. You can host the video here and they will give you a Studio link that you can use to immediately share this video with somebody else. Or you can go back and view all of your videos right here. And that's really all there is to Studio. So there's four optional upsells. And the first one allows you to have triple the credits, triple the video creation, and triple the video hosting at a discounted price. So you can pick this OTO one up and get a lot of extra credits at a discounted price. The OTO2 allows you to streamline the process of selling and delivering premium video creation services to clients. And if you scroll down, you can see this here is $67. OTO3 unlocks the white label rights, so you can put your own branding or your client's branding on the web app. And this one is $297. And then if you want to unlock the Studio voice feature and instantly create videos from any pre-recorded audio file in minutes, you can do that in this OTO for $47. So this is what Studio is. Now overall, my thoughts on this product is that it can be a really good competitor against Vidnami. It was just released, in my opinion. It has a couple bugs here and there. There's a few pages I had to refresh or go back and redo uh, just because something maybe didn't work right or the music wasn't added. And so these are all things that I believe will be corrected. And I also, from talking to uh, Joshua Zamora, the creator of this product, there are some additional features that's going to be added to this as well also. So if you guys have purchased any of his products in the past, you know that he does well to maintain them and update them. Uh, he's got many products that's been out there, platforms that's been out there for years uh, that people has been using and even that I continue to use today that he continues to maintain and update and I believe he will do the same for this one. So what I really like about this is that it is a credits based. Normally I don't like credits based tools, but because of this one and how it works, you don't have to pay a monthly fee, but instead you just buy credits and that's how you pay for your video. So you're not paying out any unnecessary monthly fees if you're not using the service. So this is Studio. I will put my link below this video if you want to go check it out. There's going to be a few bonuses on that page that you can pick up as well if you're interested in this tool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment, and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Thanks.